our Aussie version. If you have a prehistoric dinner, what would you do? You have to have a lot of meat. Big. Big meat, yes. <laughs> what do you think, Brack? Rocks and plants everywhere. Rocks and plants. Mm. So with all the amazing ideas that you gave me and all the surprises that I got ready for you, you're going to have an unforgettable prehistoric experience. While I cook, Barry's boys, James and Dylan are going to create a prehistoric wonderland. We've got a lot to do. It's got to be done by this afternoon. Great. Right. OK, Nicole, when I ask you what is your idea about, like, a prehistoric meal, yeah. the first thing you told me is, Giant food. Yeah, nice and big and big chunky. Chunky, yeah. yes. Just like me, big and chunky <laughs> now. Is that big enough? Those are huge. Ox heart tomatoes. Giant tomatoes with a twist. To make it prehistoric, we're going to put a lot of stuff inside. Right. So we're going to do a quick fried rice. Lots of color, lots of flavor. OK. So we're going to use a few ingredients like peas, nuts, fresh corn, chives, asparagus, capsicum, a little bit of ham, and some omelette. The color factor is going to be this beetroot. And we're going to mix all that together with a little bit of rice and just saute it all together with paprika. So when the mix is ready, all we need to do is cut the top of the tomato, empty, make it hollow, Put all the mix inside, cover it, and your gigantic tomato is ready. Voila. <laughs> I hope James is crude well. Animal skin from prehistoric times yeah. over the top of the log. It's as good as my crude food. Check this out. I love it. And this is going to turn into a fantastic prehistoric egg. The crudes struggle to get the egg, but I've done all the hunting and gathering of eggs for my dessert. Looks like fast food tonight. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I, I ate last week. Primeval caster and forest fruits serve in an emu egg. You ready to get your hands dirty? Yeah. Are you a little bit nervous? Yep. I am a little bit nervous. It's really kind of exciting we're making custard. OK, so to make a custard, we get some egg yolks and some sugar, and we whisk them together Okay. until they're white, pale, and foamy. You do that until they become pale and white. Amazing. Now, what we're going to do is get the milk and the cream in the stove, leave the vanilla in, and we put the vanilla inside to get that beautiful flavor. When that's really nice and hot, we're going to mix this in the eggs. Never put the eggs in here. Okay. So we don't have scrambled eggs. We're going to have a custard, OK? And you see all that millions of dots of vanilla? And we put the vanilla pot inside as well. Stop. Hammer time. Now, what we're going to do is get all that back into the same pan and slowly cook it with a spatula. Up and down, like a yo-yo. So it's going to thicken up. And look at how thick it's gone now, OK? So now, we put the custard in the fridge. So it's going to set normally two or three hours. It'll be ready to go. What you can do now is go and get changed, and I'll keep chop chop, OK? So while the family discovers a new side to themselves, I've normally had glamorous makeup on. The boys are here to set the scene. The Cruz is about a family discovering a vibrant, brand new world. And that is what James and Dylan are making out back. I've got to turn this rope into a vine without any time. Come on, come on. It wouldn't be a prehistoric dinner party without me. Look at that. It's called the tomahawk. It's a massive ribeye, 1.5 kilos. Now, tips to cook this steak. It's next to the bone, so it's quite tough, so we can go crazy in a really hot grill. Flavor of this is fantastic. To round it up, just a touch of olive oil, a little bit of seasoning, and some fresh herbs. So we need some oregano, rosemary, and thyme. Roughly chopped, and I was ready to rub it in. Go to a hot grill and start all your dreams coming true. How good is this? We got rain, thunder, the smoke from the barbecue. It's almost like the end of the world. Just like in the movie, The Cruz. It's going to be a perfect dinner party. After the break, how to throw history's best ever family feast. Olé! And the girl plays with fire. Please remove all flammable clothing. How good is fire? I hope that he likes it. Like it? I love it! I cannot believe my eyes. And I don't think our modern-day crudes will either. It's time for the big reveal. Dun, dun, dun. 
welcome to the Stone Age. You guys are really gonna see this. Come in, come in. You guys look amazing, like prehistoric people. Very animal. Very aware. So this is the real deal. Prehistoric table, prehistoric calorie. Come on, have a feel. James has got the full Monty with this. And even we have a blue egg, like the crudes. Yeah. <laughs> so would you like maybe to have a seat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, this, eh? So while they chat chat, what are we gonna have for dinner tonight? It's time for me to chop chop. Ah, this is how we do it. Perfecto. So this is the moment of the crudes. Okay, ready? Wow! 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 Yes. Yes. Delicious. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Here we are. Wow. Oh. There you go. Bang. Oh. So let's start eating. Yum yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You take the big bites. You take the little bites. The quiet bites. They're gonna be more prehistoric than this. The best yeah. steak I've ever had. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Rice is good too. So I'm in my Andes with a lot of fur around and having a massive 1.5 kilo steak. I think I never have a dinner like this. While the family devour the meat, I need to get cracking on dessert. Fill a cup with forest fruits, pour the custard on top, sprinkle with sugar and caramelize, and then hide it in an emu egg, ready to be discovered. So, reveal that egg, please, and get really excited. Yeah. Olé! Okay, so we got some custard with a tiny little bit of fruit. You made that custard, so you should be really proud. And this is actually a real egg. I'm happy, yes. Yeah, okay, get into it. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. Oh, so good. It's beautiful. Oh, it's sensational. So this here, this is actually made of chocolate ice cream. Crack the mushroom. Yeah! <laughs> wow. That's just sensational, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's beautiful. But this is not the end of the surprises. I got one last surprise, and I call it... Fire! Hi, fire. It likes me. Ah! Try hiding from it in the tall, dry grass. Ah! <laughs> I've used the Crudes movie as my inspiration. Next time you're planning a feast, find a thing and go nuts. Another great successful dinner. Thank you very much Thank to the Johnsons. Yeah. How good is fire? Yeah. Bring it on. Can I just... I don't know what we fed Anna the cat in, <laughs> during the ad break, but Anna's really grown. Uh, this mm. is Belt from Belt. the Croods. <laughs> and looking at you there in that world you created, it was oh. like a documentary. So, ins <laughs> so inspiring. You see, the good thing about the Croods is the family. Family that plays together, stay together, and that's what a move, you know, society. <laughs> put, them, put them together, they're incredibly alike oh, in, in the one shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can understand Belt a little bit more. Well, look, we're going to take a quick break because my bladder isn't what it used to be, but when we come back... <laughs>